Some people think your success is measured by the amount of intelligence you have. Life has taught me it's not about that. It's about working hard towards your goal, never quitting until you get there. Don't stop till you get there. Let's pass. Okay, so if you're watching this recorded, press the pause button, try to do it. Press the pause button, try to do it. Always try. Okay, uh, so you tried to do it. Uh, whenever you see me making a video, I always say that because it, it is important for you to try to do them. Uh, you learn by trying to do. Um, it's a very, uh, very effective way of learning. Uh, before you see the explanation, you press the pause button, you try to do it, and then you see if you know how to do it or not. Anyways, um, so this is something that a student sent me that he had trouble with. Uh, somebody gave him, well, it was actually her, somebody gave her a PDF with different problems and she encountered trouble with this one. Now, is this important? Yes, we have seen, I call them person change. We have seen them in the ASVAB. Uh, so we should try to learn how to do this. I'm going to teach you guys two ways of doing it. You select which method you prefer. Now, the first way of doing it is going to be with the formula. Uh, but before we do that, how do I do identify it's a person increase or a person decrease or a person change? It gives you an original value, a final value. So it's giving you two values. And then it says literally, what is the person increase? So it's telling you it's a person increase, which we label as person change. So whenever it's person increase or decrease, it's going to have that there somewhere. And they give you an initial value and a final value. Thus, there was a change in the amount. Okay, so let's see it in action. The first way is with the formula. The formula for person increase or person change is going to be that you subtract the two values they give you. And you divide by original. Always divide by original. So 250 and 280, it increases from 250 to... <coughs> 280 so this one would be your original and this one would be your final value now we subtract both numbers and you divide by original your original amount is 250 because it's an increase. Thus, the lower amount was your original. Now, uh, when you subtract decimals, the points are aligned one under the other. Zero minus zero, zero. Eight minus five, three. You lower the point. Two minus two, zero. So it's 30 cents or 0.30. And you divide by original. Now, some people don't know how to divide decimals. Please pay attention to see if you get it. Uh, when you divide, the number on the top always goes inside, always. And now you have decimals, right? You're going to take the decimals out here and you're going to move them back one, two, two spaces. Whatever you do outside, you do inside, one, two. So you end up with this. No more decimals to worry about. Now you look at the first digit, zero. And you say 250 times a number will give me zero. No, because 250 times one is too big. So you say 250 to give me zero is zero. Now 250 to give me three. You look at the first two digits now. 250 times one is 250 too big, so zero. 250 times one is too big, so you put zero. 250, you look now at the first three digits. 250 times a number gives you 30. Well, one is too big, so you put another zero. Now, first zero you lower here, you put a point. 250 fits in 300, yes. You want the maximum without passing. 250 times two is 500, too big. So 250 times one is 250. You subtract, 
zero minus zero, zero. When the number on the top is smaller than the bottom, you borrow. He's gonna give you 10. 10 minus five, five, two minus two, zero. Zero minus zero, zero. You lower another zero and you say 250 fits in 500. 250 times the number will give you 500. Yes, 250 times two. 250 times two is 500. So your answer is 0.12, which if you want it in percent, 1, 2, 12 percent. Now, if you are a student, relax. We have a bunch of videos of this. In your formula videos, look for the video called Person Change. If you are a student and you also don't know how to divide decimals, in your basic concept videos, there is a video called decimal division or and there's also a video called division basic also um in your basic concept videos there should, should be videos of person increase person decrease and person change those are the three topics now we're going to teach you a different way of doing it maybe the, the, that's the way i prefer the other way we're going to do it now okay the other method, they tell you it increases from 250 to 280, from 250 to 280. And uh, the percent increase, they want to know the percent increase. Okay, so they want to know percent increase. Now, something I'm going to say about how they paraphrase this, the way they paraphrased it was a little bit weird. They say the percent increase in 280 rate uh, basically they're saying the percent increase is how much so normally or typically how you would see it you would just say the percent increase is how much or was how much without this part here it doesn't affect in any way just letting you know okay so from 250 to 280 it's a percent increase a b c d you got 16% 10%, 15%, and 12%. So this way is the logical way of doing it. Step one, determine how much is the increase. From 250 to 280, a lot of people by just looking at it can determine it's an increase of 30 cents or 0.30, right? If you can determine it by just looking at it, you would just take the two numbers and subtract them to see how much was the increase. When you add or subtract decimals, the points are aligned one under the other. You lower the point, zero minus zero, zero, eight minus five, three, two minus two, zero. Now, the increase is 30 cents. To your original, you apply a percent. If it gives you the increase, it's true. It, it makes sense. If they're asking for the percent of increase, you apply a percent to your original amount and it gives you if it gives you the amount of increase it's true so we're applying this is our original amount this is our final amount to our original we apply a percent if it gives us 30 cents it gave us the increase and it would be true and that would be the answer so let's imagine you think it's 10% so you apply 10% a little trick for 10% in case you didn't know when you have $40 and you want to find 10% of $40, all you do is this. The point when you don't see it, it's at the end. And whenever you apply 10%, you just move the point one to the front, $4. $0.20, cents, what is 10% of that? All you do is move the point one to the front, 0 0.02. If you don't get it, it's okay. It's okay. Just a way of doing it faster because if you follow, if you learn that trick, you could determine 250, what is 10% of that by looking at it because it's 10%, 25 cents, and you can save time. But it's okay. It's not like you save a lot of time because if you just want to apply 10% to your original, you apply 10%, always to your original, whenever you have percent, one, two, and you multiply. 0 times 0 0, 0 times 5 0, 0 times 2 0, space, 1 times 0 0, 1 times 5 5, 1 times 2 2. 
you add it up zero zero five two two back two back four spaces so four forward one two three four it's 25 cents it's 25 cents the increase you got was 25 cents is it correct no you need a 30 30 cent increase so 10 percent is too low by a little bit by a little bit not by a lot by a little bit so probably 12 percent testing for 12 percent to your original always to your original never to your final always to your original you apply 12 percent whenever you have percent one two and you multiply two times zero zero two times five ten carry the one two times two four plus one five space one times zero zero one times five five one times two two zero zero five plus five ten carry the one one plus two three two back two back four spaces so four forward one two three four thirty cents making it true making it true because you needed to get to an increase of thirty cents so your answer is twelve percent because you tested with twelve percent d now um if you don't know how to apply percentages or how to multiply decimals first learn that uh there is a video in your formula videos called percentage explained uh you should first learn it, it, for the people who don't know how to apply percentages first and then go to percent change but again this topic is called person change it has come in the test Hopefully uh, you understood it. And if you haven't understood it and you're a student, look for videos called Percentage Explained. After you mastered Percentage Explained, then look for videos called Person Change, Person Decrease, or Person Increase. They're in alphabetical order in basic course concepts and in formulas you're going to have. Uh, and also in k videos, you're going to have also more videos of that. And we also practice them relatively often in our live sessions. Anyways, if you like the video, please uh, like and share. Uh, leave a comment if it was helpful or if you have any other suggestions for topics for future videos. I do read the comments. Uh, let's pass. Take care. Bye-bye.